Hello, and welcome to Highlight Reel. I'm Tracy Clark, the Executive Director for the Louisa County Chamber of Commerce. I'm really excited today to introduce you to Fahrenheit Advisors. We have two guests with us, Chip Bowman and Ben Sheely. Um, let's go ahead and just get started. Why don't you gentlemen introduce yourselves and share a little bit about uh, you? Sounds great. Well, thank you, Tracy. Uh, my name is Chip Bowman. I'm the Managing Director of Business Development for Fahrenheit Advisors, uh, based out of our Richmond office, uh, just up the road from Louisa, and uh, thrilled to be here to share a little bit more about uh, what we do and, and how we can uh, intersect with other members of the Chamber. Ben? Uh, thank you, Tracy, very much for this opportunity. My, my name is Ben Sheely. I'm a Managing Director in Fahrenheit Advisors. Uh, I'm the lead in the Charlottesville office and uh, uh, really looking forward to uh, introducing Fahrenheit to you all this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us, gentlemen. I appreciate it. Um, I'm excited to learn more and, and share about Fahrenheit Advisors. It's, it's very interesting what you're doing, and I understand you already have uh, several folks that you're working with in the Louisa uh, community. Why don't you share with us a little bit about uh, your services and, and what exactly do you do? Sure, I'd love to. Uh, thank you, Tracy. Uh, so Fahrenheit Advisors is a 11-year-old uh, management consulting firm. Uh, we're based out of the Richmond uh, market, uh, which is our headquarters, but we have offices in Charlottesville, in Roanoke, uh, and we do work all over the state of Virginia. Um, I'm excited uh, to share uh, how, we, how we look at management consulting. We, we have four practice areas, and uh, the easiest way to think of those four practice areas is the business advisory team is, is senior business executives uh, working with, with business owners and business leaders to help overcome challenges or take advantage of opportunities. Our second practice area is in the finance and accounting consulting space, uh, and that is a a team of seasoned finance and accounting uh, professionals that work with clients uh, to do everything from um, kind of basic day-to-day -day accounting uh, to uh, complex transaction work uh, that you would, you would envision uh, CFO types working with and everything in between. Uh, and and uh, that team works uh, across the state of Virginia and, uh, and works uh, either in the office or, or remotely, depending on, on what the need of the client is. Our third practice area is human capital management. Uh, that is all things HR, everything from day-to-day -day human resource uh, operations to uh, refreshing your, your organizational charts, your total compensation, um, approach, uh, your, your systems around human resource management, uh, and all the way up to executive coaching and, and professional, uh, professional growth uh, consulting. Uh, lastly, uh, we have an executive search and recruiting team. Uh, oftentimes, our consulting practice is filling gaps needed on a temporary or a part-time basis within clients. Uh, but our executive search team uh, is pulled in when the need's permanent and you need to put a permanent resource as part of your team uh, for, for some, some related transition reason. So, uh, ben, what do, you add, what do you want to add for Charlottesville? Well, I would add to that that uh, my, my particular practice is uh, in, a, in the private company sector, mostly construction and engineering. As Chip mentioned, uh, uh, of the four silos, my, my focus is more on the finance and accounting uh, turnaround. I'm usually brought in as a, a senior consultant to the CEO or the CFO. I've also had roles as an interim CFO, uh, fractional CFO, and the remit generally there is to provide advice and guidance when a company is at a point where they want to up their game, so to speak, in terms of their finance and accounting, their reporting, their reporting to their, 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 their lenders, and they're looking for uh, that, uh, that guidance that allows them to refine and upgrade their systems. Also, uh, times in which uh, balance sheets sometimes uh, get a little uh, difficult to manage, uh, we can go in and help with that, particularly negotiations with bankers uh, and other lenders. Uh, there's also, as, as Chip mentioned, a sales transformation arm of this that we're involved in. And um, uh, the, the practice that we have is generally private companies uh, in the uh, in the middle market. Okay, great. That was actually going to be my next question, but you mentioned uh, Chip. Did you have something you wanted to add before we? Oh, I just wanted to add. I, I neglected to share that our team is ninety people. 
Uh, we have 75 consultants uh, across those three consulting practice areas. Uh, and then we have 15 uh, people who support our operations internally and our, our centralized executive recruiting team. So we have uh, a depth and breadth of experience across our, across our consultant team. Uh, we are uh, all employees of the firm. Uh, so we, we work together and our average tenure across the firm is over three and a half years. Uh, so as an 11, 11 year old firm, we, we've had um, a really great team assembled for a long period of time working yeah. together. Uh, makes a really, really wonderful um, experience for our teammates as well as, as opportunity for our, our clients to not just access what the specific consultant doing the work on their, on their account is, but also uh, ability for, for that lead consultant on the client work to, to leverage the experience of the entire team. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely uh, having that access to, you know, a, a wealth of experts is, is valuable. You mentioned, Ben, um, who you serve, that middle market, and, and we've talked a little bit about the Louisa community, the business community. Uh, can you give a little bit um, more insight about your uh, ideal or potential client? You know, we've got everything from sole proprietor, small business, you know, are they someone that you can help or is it more uh, lots of employees, bigger infrastructure, longer history? I mean, can you paint a picture a little bit of, of who could utilize you guys? Yes, I'll just put a couple quick thoughts in and I want Chip to chime in because he really has a, a much greater uh, depth of knowledge of, all, of our entire client base. But in my experience, it really does run from nearly the sole proprietorship to a company with you know, several hundred employees or, or more. I, I think that the, the key, if you will, is, a, is an entity that's gotten to a point where they feel as though they need some uh, additional guidance uh, provided beyond you know, the, the folks who already work at the firm to, to, uh, to enable them to grow and to grow in, in, a, in a coherent and, and sustainable way. So I, I think it's not so much the size uh, as much as it is a particular need. And I think the fractional and interim approach uh, could really be ideal because uh, obviously uh, going out and hiring probably a, a higher price or very expensive professional uh, is, is, is a big deal and entails a, a lot of mind share. Whereas uh, with Fahrenheit, you can sort of dip your toe into it a bit with a fractional or interim solution. And I think something I'd like uh, Chip to talk about in a little detail is that I've seen that happen uh, in, in a wonderful way in that there have been engagements in which we've begun with a, a consultant, but the understanding is from the beginning, we're also gonna initiate an executive search for, for, for a permanent full-time person. And by having the consultant in place, it not only better informs management about who and what they want, sometimes what they don't want, but I think it, it can work out beautifully where it really gives them a much better idea of, of that permanent hire. And I think our track record would, would prove that, uh, that it really is a very effective way to do it. Yeah, and I would just add that, you know, our model is flexible. Uh, we approach uh, client engagements with, with kind of three basic structures, uh, fractional, which is, you know, by, by what of the, of what you need of the, of the talent um, when you need it. Uh, interim, which is, is usually a, a stopgap between something unexpected happening with, with somebody on your team and needing to get to the next permanent hire. Or, or oftentimes it can just be project work, uh, a new system implementation, a, um, you know, a merger or, a, or, or just some kind of transaction that you uh, you know, have never been through before and you want somebody who's been there, done that alongside you to, to help guide the way. Um, the approach we take is, is we give you what you need in the amount you need it. Uh, we help you figure out what that is. Um, and you only keep us as long as you need us. You know, we work with you to make sure that, um, you know, it's not always a permanent relationship. It's sometimes just a moment in time where you need, you need some horsepower to get from here to there or, or you had something change. Uh, we're all about giving clients what they need to overcome obstacles and challenges or take advantage of opportunities. Um, our team is built of, of operators turned consultants. We've been in a lot of the same seats 
of the clients we're working with. You know, we can advise CEOs because we've been CEOs. We can advise CFOs because we've been CFOs. We can do controllership work in accounting because we've been controllers. Um, and, and we've seen it uh, across a lot, of, a lot of industries. As far as the size of our clients, uh, we don't have a magic uh, slice of the market. I'd say we generally work with companies uh, on the high side, you know, some of our biggest clients are, you know, a couple hundred million dollars in sales. Uh, our smallest clients are startups with no revenue. Uh, and it's everything in between. Uh, the needs of clients, uh, depending on where you are in your growth journey or your, your operations journey, are very different. Uh, some of the smaller clients, uh, you know, need outside accounting expertise uh, because that's not what they're, that's not what they know how to do. Right. Uh, some of our bigger clients, uh, you know, need major project work as they consider, you know, a new initiative to grow their business or a transaction related to their business. Uh, so we, we have a team that is, is built around making sure we've got the right people available uh, for anything the client needs. Um, and, and we really love it when we have ch chances to work uh, with clients from multiple parts of our business. Uh, we've got lots of situations where uh, we are doing the outsourced accounting work for clients and their outsourced human resource work. Okay. And uh, we're working seamlessly uh, with their operation and being able to provide it uh, in the case of a small company on a part-time basis that doesn't, you know, they don't have to field a full-time staff and bear the cost of that. They can buy what they need yeah. um, when they need it. Yeah, uh, and then with the larger to you guys. Um, there's, there's definitely several businesses that are popping in my head that mm -hmm. I, I think could really find some value with you guys. So let's, let's talk a little bit about how does someone, how does a business, uh, get connected with you? Uh, is there any initial, you know, free consultation? What, what's the process to really engaging you guys to help them and their business? Yeah, everything starts best with a conversation. Um, we never expect, uh, to know, to, to know exactly what the client needs from, from the client in the initial conversation. Um, and what I mean by that is it's it, sometimes that you have to, to kind of tease out and connect the dots on where pain points are or where obstacles are or where frustrations are occurring. I and mean, we're really good at that. Um, I've, I've had a really, um, blessed career of, of seeing a lot of different companies from a corporate banking background. And I've been doing consulting for a dozen years and have, have been able to engage with all kinds of different companies on all kinds of different projects and all kinds of different interim in, in engagements. And, and the best way to figure out what the solve is, is to really understand what the problem or the underlying challenge is. Right. Uh, and, and that's best, best uh, done in a conversation. So that can take a couple different forms. Um, I'm always free to talk to you for anybody who wants to talk. Uh, and, and I love to work with clients to figure out what the scope of the work is so that we, we know up front what we're trying to accomplish and nobody's uh, kind of confused at what the outcomes are going to be at the end of the project. Um, if it requires a little more of a deep dive, uh, we do have the ability to do uh, some, some abbreviated or, or some more extensive uh, assessment work, uh, where, where one of our consultants, you know, Ben or, or one of our other consultants could come in and, and spend a day or two, or, or maybe a few hours, whatever we think is the right amount of time, uh, to figure out what's really going on, and, and, and give everybody more clarity around what, what we're going to try to tackle and what we're going to, what success looks like when we're done. Um, that can be free, or that can be paid, it just depends on the on the extent of what the assessment work needs to be. Uh, and then uh, we, build a, we build a scope of work. Uh, we've got some simple engagement documents and then, and then we, would, we would come in and execute the work. We're highly communicative. We believe communication is the key. Um, but the easiest thing to do if you have, if you have a, a member that, that you know, just wants to noodle through something that they see as a challenge or a frustration or an opportunity uh, is to, to put them in touch with me or Ben uh, we're happy to come see you. We love to get out. We've been active uh, throughout COVID in a safe, healthy, and compliant way because we know business doesn't shut down, even for a worldwide pandemic. 
Um, and, uh, and, and we uh, are happy to, to come out. We work with a lot of companies already in the, in the gap between Richmond and Charlottesville, uh, some in Louisa, some a little bit south of 64. Um, but we love that marketplace. We love, we love the business going on there. We love the, the environment and we, we love to uh, come to our clients. So great. Yeah, the, and the one plug I'd like to put in, I hope this doesn't embarrass you, uh, Tracy, is that, uh, you know, in Fahrenheit's 10 plus years, we've dealt with a lot of different organizations, you know, ch various chambers of commerce, other professional organizations and so forth. And uh, we've just been super impressed by Louisa Chamber and by you specifically. Uh, I think your outreach has been uh, just fantastic. Uh, other organizations, I won't mention the name, I feel like they've to some extent maybe put their head in the sand a little bit and it's just been totally virtual, you know, which is, you know, it's a, it's a safe way, uh, but, but uh, sometimes it, it can be inhibiting. So anyway, uh, you know, congratulations to you. And uh, it's been a real pleasure working with you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's, it's definitely been a pleasure meeting you and getting to know about uh, more about your business as well. And, um, you know, we do try to do the best that we can to connect our members and our community. Uh, we're excited for what you guys are doing here in Louisa. Uh, as I mentioned, I, I know several businesses already just listening that I think um, could really use your help, your guidance. So I look forward to um, getting you guys more connected, more involved, and, and also helping our community overall. I want to thank you so much for sharing um, information. I know this won't be the last conversation. And um, with that, I'm going to wrap it up. I do want to remind everyone um, that Fahrenheit Advisors is a chamber member. So you can go to our website under the community info tab and search find a business to get their contact information. But uh, Ben or Chip, why don't you go ahead and share how do they get in touch? What's your email or website or even phone number? Yeah, my, my, uh, our website is FahrenheitAdvisors.com. Uh, there are communication outlets through the website where you can reach out to us. Uh, you can find uh, mine and Ben and all of our teammates on our team page of the website with contact information. Uh, my email is cbowman at fahrenheitadvisors.com and my phone is 804-475-1309 and um, I'd love to hear from you uh, anytime, any day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and likewise, uh, uh, B. Sheely, uh, B. S. H. E. A. L. Y. at FahrenheitAdvisors.com. And uh, happy to speak to you at 434 996 6715. Wonderful. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us today. We will see you soon.